So those two groups, strategic consultants and economists, I think are kind of get a little bit of a free pass. And I'm not sure there's a way to hold them accountable. I think the only solution we have is that the people that are kind of listening to them have a degree of sophistication to understand you know, what's fit for purpose and you know, what has to be thought about more broadly. Economists should be cautious and careful uh, about the kind of advice they give. Uh, they should be free from uh, interest, uh, financial interest with corporations that are affiliated or businesses or governments. Uh, this is a basic uh, ethical uh, responsibility. Accountability um, is uh, a key to success uh, in any uh, uh, endeavor. Uh, the problem is, you know, how, how do you define accountability in a social science? Um, so human beings are constantly evolving and changing. Uh, it seems reasonable to assume that economics must evolve and change as well as uh, as well economists. Um, and I think the problem uh, with uh, economics in terms of holding people accountable is that the, the lag times in policy are, are long uh, and variable. How much of that is really um, economics and how much of it was politics? How much of it was politicians selecting a certain interpretation of economics that was consistent with their ideological predisposition? So uh, you, you would blame, you could blame Milton Friedman but Milton Friedman was not the one who implemented the policies. The army developed the atomic bomb and the atomic bomb was, was only possible because uh, uh, of, of development in fundamental physics. So let's make Albert Einstein accountable for it. So, so there's, there's, it, it, we need to be careful in the uh, attribution of uh, responsibility because there's a long chain from, from Albert Einstein to uh, the launching of the atomic bomb. Economists should not be held accountable. Politicians should. The trouble is not so much with economists themselves, but economic fashions with hegemonic modes of economic thinking. The economist Nassim Taleb has urged that the Nobel Prize in economics should be done away with because of the enormous damage done by economic meta-narratives. The sense of uh, epistemic privilege that economists they have, and they should be aware of it. They should be self-critic to their own <laughs> privilege that they have when advising, for example, governments and, and politicians. I think they should have in their mind, they should understand that um, you know, we, we should be concerned about uh, different narratives about what's happening in society, different narratives about who you, we are. This should be kind of prerequisites for any researchers. No, there is no one truth. There are many and you need to deal with that. If you want that liability protection, economists should be a lot more careful about what they propose, right? You can't have it both ways. If you don't believe that you have the scientific exactitude to make exact point predictions that when they go wrong, you're willing to have skin in the game for, then don't say that you actually are this master science that has it all figured out.